Article 24. Shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $120,000 for the purpose of developing a design for and the permitting and bidding documents associated with the replacement of the seawall at Bicentennial Park? The existing wall has shallow embedment into the beach and the seawall is supported on sand prone to storm erosion. Under certain storm conditions, analysis indicates the seawall will fail. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32 colon 7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the project is completed or by March 31st, 2018, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 4-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 12-0. The fiscal impact for the 2017 uh, tax rate is 3.6 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on so Article moved. 24? Motion by Mr. Moved by Mr. Waddell. Is there a second? Second by Mr. Griffin. Who would like to speak to Article 24? Ms. Hale. As read, Article 24 is uh, for the funding of the Bicentennial Seawall Design and Permitting. Uh, as many of you may recall, last year during meeting, uh, it was voted and approved to do an investigation of the condition of the seawall. Uh, that investigation was completed. Uh, the investigation result indicated that the Bicentennial Wall um, is a wall that was constructed over a wall. Uh, the interior wall is decaying. It's got a concrete reaction uh, where it's actually crumbling internally. Uh, the borings and test pits that were done uh, as part of the investigation um, indicated that this wall does not sit attached to anything. It is literally resting on the sand. And in some cases, as you can sort of see in the middle picture there, uh, the footing is exposed. Uh, the engineers that were hired ran wave analysis and storm analysis and uh, basically concluded that during a significant event, we risked losing the wall. Um, it was that report that prompted an emergency temporary stabilization. Uh, that's what occurred uh, over the first few weeks in January. Revetment was brought in, revetment meaning uh, five and eight ton rocks were placed at the base of the wall uh, to serve as support. Uh, that work was completed and with that uh, we are looking to go straight into the design and permitting of the new wall. Uh, the reason this is just for the design and permitting and not the construction itself is that the permitting is going to take six to nine months uh, just to get it through all the state and uh, federal permits that will be required. Uh, so we thought it best to let's do this a step at a time. Uh, and since we did the investigation last year, let's get the design done uh, for this year. Uh, the new wall will look to uh, accomplish uh, wave reflection. The stone that was used for the emergency repair will be reused. Uh, we'll look to construct it as high as the state wall that abuts it. And it will continue to provide the uh, necessary barrier uh, between what is uh, the ocean and Route 1 uh, Bicentennial Park and the businesses and homes around there. Thank you, Ms. Hale. Uh, Mr. Zanoy. Uh, a couple of clarifications on this. Last year, the re warrant articles for was for a reconstruction or a replacement. And I understand now you're just talking replacement. The whole wall. And is that up to the height of the of the uh, state wall? Okay. And um, again, last year's warrant article had a uh, article article twenty one for eighty five thousand, as I remember, had an end date of March thirty first, two thousand and twenty one. This has an end date of March thirty first, two thousand and eighteen. I'm gonna leave that in your hands. Let's see if you got proper dates there. Um, um, now, the 85,000 that we that you warranted the last, that was non-lapsing. So, so that would be still available to be spent if you haven't spent it all? That money was used. Total 85? Uh, for the temporary repair and the investigation. Oh, okay. So the whole 85 was used. Correct. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Zanoy. Uh, Ms. Nanaya. Good 
Mr. Moderator, John Nyan, to all on AV. I speak uh, on this sworn article on behalf of the Hampton Beach Area Commission. Um, and once again, at a uh, recent meeting of the Commission, it was voted unanimously to support this, this warrant article, much needed uh, um, infrastructure project for the beach. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nyan. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 24? Seeing none, Article 24 will appear on the warrant as printed. On